Hello there everybody, what is going on? My name is Aditya and welcome back to another brand new video regarding Semantic UI. And basically in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the stuff regarding the JavaScript and the very first part in it that is Accordion. Now, if you have ever used Bootstrap before or you know, if you have ever went to some site and you have seen that there are some questions which can be collapsed you know that is known as accordion in bootstrap it is uh, you, you if you have used it obviously it is directly named as accordion or else in other um, websites it is just some collapsible tabs which you know you don't really know the name of but it is known as accordion just for your information now we are going to be going ahead and driving straight into the code now obviously you can see we have left off where we had been at the last position that is we added these two scripts right over here and I told you a few things about them now the first thing that we're gonna be doing here is obviously we can go ahead and create an I'm sorry uh, I'm, I'm gonna create a accordion that's it it's as easy as that now let's just say I want a few things in it uh, so what we can do is title and content and as easy as that we go ahead and create our very first accordion item all right so let's just go ahead and say uh, let's just say here who is the president of USA and I want to answer it here OBAMA Obama and uh, I'm just gonna be going ahead and copying this little thing pasting it three times and uh, let's just go ahead and say that I want one of these questions okay so let me just go ahead and change it a bit and just so that you know the text should look a little bit more bigger than how it is normally so I mean the answer should be looking great so let's just say another lorem ipsum text and oops and let's just say what is capital of USA and who is the president of Iran <laughs> I, I, I don't even know who is the president of Iran so I, I don't really even care so let's just go ahead and save it and refresh it once now when you refresh it you will be seeing these three things which are completely clickable but obviously nothing really happens when you click on them now the reason being is that there is no JavaScript 8 implemented now let's just see how this actually works behind the scenes well when we put active in here it just goes ahead and expands that first little thing who is the president of USA it is Obama uh, well I'm just gonna be making it a little bit more interactive by putting in uh, I class equals to drop down icon okay and let me just copy it and um, okay oops I'm really sorry and I want to put it right over here okay there we go and now let me just refresh it just to show it to you guys uh, my net is being a pretty slow I don't know why but here we go now that's how it looks like but when we click on other two of these it doesn't really make any sense because uh, you know we put some information in there, but it doesn't really click So what we can do is just come at the end and right before the body tag. I just want to put in Script tag Now obviously inside the script tag. I want some uh, JavaScript that is mostly it is going to be the jQuery when you are using it So what I'm going to be typing in here is dollar now obviously if you have seen about jQuery you know what exactly I'm typing UI accordion and then it, now what exactly this means it just pick up a class named as UI accordion pick up an element on this page now that is this element right over here now notice it how it exactly does now when I say hash 
it is going to be specifying the ID of that particular div. Obviously, you can go ahead and do that if you really want. But most of the times what happens is that you might be having more than one accordion in your page and you just don't want that. You want to repeat. You don't want to repeat your ID over and over inside your JavaScript. So obviously, we use this class. Now, uh, if you haven't used jQuery yet or JavaScript, if you don't have any knowledge about it, you might be finding this a little bit of a little bit confusing. So let's just say here dot accordion and put it like that. And let's just go ahead and refresh it. Now, hopefully, it should work. And there we go. Now, notice how it adds that little animation over there. It is inbuilt in Semantic UI. So obviously we got this little thing, but let's just say I don't want it in this way and I want that there should be it should be bordered, it should be styled. So what I can do is simply just get up here and before accordion, I just want to put in styled and there we have it. So how it looks style is way more better than how it looked before. Obviously I do recommend this kind of design, but maybe at some point you might be needing that kind of design too. So that is it. That, that's how you go ahead and create your styled accordion. But notice how it shrinked itself down to that particular point. Now let's just say if you want it full length of the page. So what you can do is simply put in there fluid accordion. Now obviously it just goes ahead and takes the space of the container. Now if I specify the grid system over here that is let's just say it is a three wide grid and a three wide column. So I can simply just go ahead and expand it in that that particular area now what happens is sometimes semantic UI is 16 grid uh, system and let's just say if I'm taking 12 grids for the particular content for that MCQ section or I may say accordion and then little four grids is there for the recommended things or something like that you know you can go ahead and specify anything over there so for the for those 12 grids you're gonna be needing it completely filled it shouldn't be just be you know taking up a few grids of, out of that so if you want that whole container to be filled you can go ahead and do it in that way just go ahead and use this fluid it will be uh, making it completely large so obviously you can use the fluid mostly with the style obviously if you don't use it with style there is no problem uh, but mostly uh, you know if I remove this thing UI fluid accordion and UI accordion is exactly the same thing now I guess I didn't show you how exactly that works so let's just see and that's it it just takes up the whole space of the container and uh, that's how it exactly works and that is going to be it for today's video guys so I'm really sorry for not uploading for a little bit of time you know I'm still studying in the school so I do need to do that school work plus this work and even my parents think that um, whatever I'm doing is this quite quite absurd uh, but yeah I'll, I'll, I'll be I'll be creating a video on that what exactly I want and why exactly I put these videos for free because there are so many so many videos out there on Twitch plus uh, on Twitch plus I, I guess that's how you pronounce that word and uh, you know on Touch Plus there are a few videos on Udemy there are a few courses which you have to pay for but I don't really love to pay the pay for the thing I didn't really love when I started out in the programming so that's why I try to keep out these videos for free of cost and that's why I chose the YouTube thing not even my own website because even that would cost me a little bit and I have to charge you guys so obviously I, I have to go ahead and do this for free of cost and maybe I'll be creating a patreon page sometime soon so that you know I may get a little bit of money and even you guys would love to enjoy this kind of stuff for free of cost so obviously that is going to be it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching if you love this video just go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe this channel if you want to support me obviously and for free of cost that that I remain that to say and peace out.